Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 2. In this session, we'll be looking at handling information and data, specifically drawing and interpreting scatter diagrams and recognising positive and negative correlation. A scatter diagram is used to show how closely things are related. This relationship is known as correlation. It can be either positive or negative. If two things are correlated, the points plotted on the diagram will be close to representing a straight line. And if there is no correlation, the points plotted will be scattered all over the diagram. Now this is an example of positive correlation. There is a straight line roughly, and as one value increases, the other value increases. And this is an example of negative correlation. Although it's less clear, there is still more or less a straight line. And as one value increases, the other value decreases. The line of best fit is a line which identifies the correlation. The line will pass roughly through the middle of the plotted points with approximately the same number of points above and below. Now it's worth noting if you know one of the values, you can then read from a line of best fit to predict the other value. So in this example, the scatter diagram on the left shows a line of best fit, and we can see from this that over two shopping trips, five items were bought. Now you may be presented with information and asked to draw a scatter diagram to present the data given. So on the table on the right, this shows the age and value of seven cars. And you will be needing to draw a scatter diagram to present this data. So firstly, we'll start by drawing our axes and labeling them, ensuring the axes show age and value. And labeling them is very important because this will give you some marks towards your overall grade. Next, ensure the scale is accurate. So age goes up to at least six, while value goes up to at least 18,000. We need to add a title. And then plot the data. Now always check your plotted data is accurate because it's very easy to misposition something or miss one piece of data completely. And this is what your scatter diagram should look like once the data is plotted. And as you can see, as the age increases, the value of the cars decreases. Therefore, there is negative correlation. Now let's look at an example exam question. Five corners of a hexagon are drawn on the grid below. What are the coordinates of the sixth corner? Now what I'd like you to do is pause the video and have a go at answering the question and then press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? The coordinates are minus two, one. And let's recap. Where there's a relationship between two variables, we can say there is correlation. There are two types of correlation. Positive correlation. So as one variable rises, so does the other. And negative correlation where one variable rises, the other decreases. If the plotted points are randomly spread, we can say that there is no correlation. Thanks for participating, and I'll see you on the next session.